Hello, my friends. February 28, 2019. Long time, no talk. 6.14 p.m. All right, so uh, yes, I am backtracking here a little bit, but I want to talk about this ice tsunami we had by Lake Erie, uh, technically in Canada, I believe. So we're going to look into this, and I just wanted to point out that Basically, around this time last year, uh, this was posted uh, February 20th of last year, um, I did some drone video of Lake Susquehanna, and we had a similar, not as bad of a situation, but a similar situation as far as the river freezing and then beginning to thaw and all these ice chunks being pushed up onto the shores of the river, and they came up so high that they were covering bike trails, and this is actually my personal video I took here where I'm just kind of hovering over these giant blocks here. Some of these, no joke, guys, were the size of cars. You can see the dip off right here. This is about six to seven feet down to the water. This is a bike trail right around here. This is the actual park itself. I do a little bit of uh, moving around, and I actually have a part uh, where I film a sign saying, uh, no motorized vehicles along this area, and the sign is literally sticking out of a piece of ice right on the bike trail. So you can get an idea of how high this is. I may the perspective may look a little weird, but that's give or take eight, nine, maybe even ten feet from water to the top of this ice here. You can see uh, that sign I was talking about there. This is part of the park. You can see people trying to get through and around the ice by driving on the grass, uh, so on and so forth. So just an example of how. Um, these things happen when the rivers freeze and then the ice starts breaking apart. Um, in turn, that's kind of what caused this situation. So uh, we do have some severe weather in the U.S. We'll get to that in a minute, but I do want to talk about this tsunami before I lose track here. So here are a few little snapshots. I don't want to play the video. It's uh, courtesy of Guardian News. Um, I'm sure, or well, hopefully they don't mind me using little snapshots from their video, but... Uh, something very similar happened, and you could see this retaining wall here had no chance against these things. Uh, these are very big blocks of ice that were pushed over. Um, I'm not sure whether this was a, a tsunami triggered by some sort of earthquake or if it was a break in ice that triggered this wave, but nonetheless, you can see as we move forward in the video itself, more and more of these giant chunks of ice are flowing over this retaining wall. Um, basically, very similar in shape to the ones we saw on the Susquehanna River from last year in my video, uh, doing much less damage um, in a much more remote area than this. This probably will be much more of an issue than uh, what I saw, but just check this out, guys. Look at these chunks of ice. These are huge. Like, these are those horse dollies here. Compare them to some of these chunks. Uh, you couldn't even lift these up, some of you, if you wanted to. But, um, yeah, very interesting. An ice tsunami, they are calling this. And I know I'm a little late on it, but uh, I've had a lot going on the last couple of weeks. Everything's good. Don't worry about that. Um, we're always watching and paying attention to what you guys have to post and show us. So um, we do work full-time jobs, so it is hard to get material out on a scheduled basis. We do our best. And uh, I just wanted to touch base with you guys on this. This is a very interesting story, very cool stuff to look at. Uh, great job by the Guardian News cover covering it. And, um, guys, we're going to see a lot more of this, especially in areas where the canals are, are, are thin. And this is the area of where this happened um, let's backtrack first and get a, a farther view up of exactly where we are, if my mouse will work correctly. So you can see right to the east of Lake Erie is where we're looking, and this is where this happened here. So, it's technically Lake Erie, but it's actually a mouth of one of the other rivers leading down into Lake Erie that this happened. I'm assuming the flow comes down this way. We're talking one of these two bridges is what we were just looking at. So the ice is building up along the shores around this place. It's being forced down, and as it's melting, it's making its way down this river and then piling up in certain areas, and that's what's causing the tsunamis to flow in uh, to either side of these uh, outlets um, on this river that lead into Lake Erie itself. So... All right, guys, with that said, that's what I got for you for now. Um, I'm going to check out a few more articles on this and see if there's anything else that may have led to this. Actually, I do have this one here, too. Ice tsunami, high winds push mounds of ice along the Nigeria River near Lake Erie, Niagara River near Lake Erie, I'm sorry, um, photos and videos. So, uh, yeah, this seems pretty legit. I'm pretty sure I'm allowed to use this to show you guys. Uh, Fair Use 101, I believe it's called. A family taking a look at this giant pile. Again, you see the dollies. Look at this. This is like 30 feet high. A 30-foot high mound of ice right here. Uh, just being pushed higher and higher because of the water. 
And then here's Buffalo, AP News, high winds howled through much of the eastern U.S. Sunday and Monday, cutting power to hundreds of thousands of homes and businesses, closing schools and pushing dramatic mounds of ice onto the shores of Lake Erie. So Lake Erie is what the topic of conversation is here. Another good shot there. Um, Hopefully these shots I am allowed to use. If not, (laughs) we'll find out. But here's another one of those bridges that I just showed you on the Google Earth side of things. And then we get plenty of videos. Uh, I'm sure you could find thousands of them at this point, being that we're a couple days into this now. But, um, yes, just wanted to touch base with you guys, let you know I am following what's going on. I'm sorry I'm taking so long to get videos out. We just go through some hectic times sometimes, and we have other things we need to handle. But uh, we always, always come back, and we are always here to help you guys. So with that said, um, we're going to touch quickly on this. Another round of severe weather is about to hit the West Coast, currently is hitting the West Coast, specifically Northern California, which will see more snow. Uh, Repeat and reset, guys. That is what this has been all about lately. We have been seeing the same thing over and over and over and over again, and it's just getting worse and worse. These mudslides, these flooding events, these rivers capping, all this stuff happening, and now... Um, as much as we are wanting spring and wishing for spring to come, that is when we're going to be dealing with a whole nother issue, and that is called a thaw. That is when things begin to thaw out. We're talking about parts of the Rockies, parts of the Sierra Nevadas begin to melt, and that is when we're going to be dealing with water on top of already saturated ground, um, covered in mudslides, um, in particular California. Um, California sticks out in my mind because it's just... It's such a dramatic t- uh, difference in landscape from California to Oregon and Washington. Uh, being used to the snow and the moisture, California is just simply not, certain parts of it at least. So um, a lot to look forward to, whether good or bad. Uh, it's just going to get very interesting. It has been interesting, and I don't see any change in that. So um, I'm going to get a little more info together. I'm going to get a little bit more of an organized video for you guys, but I needed to get on here and touch base, let you know everything good and we are going to talk very soon so um, as of right now guys stay safe stay aware be prepared have a plan whatever it is you got to do so you can um, make the changes you need to make if something happens in your area we are all prone to uh, to extreme weather east coast west coast central I don't care if you live in the Gulf the border of uh, Canada anywhere uh, Hawaii Alaska any place that's part of the US or the world for that matter you are susceptible to different types of uh, a global climate change that goes on now uh, we're going through a different cycle guys the weather is absolutely changing and we need to just um, prepare to adapt to it so again with that said I will be back shortly with another update glad to talk to you guys glad to be back me and Caroline wish you all the best talk to you soon bye bye